Welcome back. Paris headquartered commerce media company Critio has set its sight on becoming a major player in India's rapidly expanding digital advertising landscape. We caught up with their chief executive officer Megan Clarkin and spoke with her on their focus and strategic plan for the India market and can marketers use AI to maximize advertising performance with first party data and being a key player in the ad tech. How does Critio balance innovation? with the risk associated with becoming overly reliant on certain technologies or platforms in today's ever-evolving tech landscape. Listen in. Megan, what brings you to India? We're growing very, very quickly in India. It's incredibly exciting. So important for me to be on the ground and spend time with everyone. Absolutely. With each passing year, the team in India for Critio keeps on uh, increasing. But what are uh, the key strategies and what are the key focus areas that you have uh, earmarked for the India market? The Indian ads market is growing 9.5% uh, according to Group M this year, which is outpacing uh, many markets around the world. And so much of that is starting to creep towards the area of commerce media, which is where we're really leaning into, which in short is really being the ad tech provider for advertising that's going to people or consumers who are on that buyer journey, getting that message to them at the right time in the right format. And the growth of that is very exciting for our team. And that's really what's um, spearheading uh, the growth of our team, which is now about 300 people here. Uh, in India, that's about 10% of Critio's workforce worldwide. So we're very proud of um, the work that's going on here and the opportunity. Wow, 10% of uh, the global workforce is over here. But globally, uh, you know, if you can also uh, tell us what are some of the key trends that are, uh, you know, driving ad tech strategies? And, uh, you know, like what are the key trends that are shaping uh, this industry? It's really the big boom is coming from commerce media and commerce media is very new, but it's said that in the next three years, it will outpace the ad spend that's going to social and get very close to the ad spend that's going to search. So it's going to be huge. And the reason why is that uh, retailers or commerce players like Flipkart are opening up their inventory for advertising. And it's a very valuable proposition for brands because that advertising is on sites that are close to the point of purchase. Hmm. So you can imagine that um, today with the use of uh, data directly from a flip cart to make sure the right message is getting to that right consumer at the right time, it's an incredibly valuable medium and one that's really uh, pushed um, to spearhead the growth, the ongoing growth of advertising uh, into the future and even away from some of the old um, advertising mechanisms or platforms like linear TV or radio. We see that coming across to digi digital and we see that going into commerce media. What is the future for this browse to buy? Browse to buy. If you think about consumers today, their path, their browse to buy has changed quite considerably from what it did five years ago or even 10 years ago, where maybe uh, they saw something on television, they might have got a pamphlet or a brochure in the mail or an email, and then they would go to the retail store, the bricks and mortar store. Hmm. Today, they start their journey on a social media site. And then from there, they're going to move to do uh, more um, uh, um, uh, looking, asking others of their experience of different products uh, on other social media sites. And then they're going to do deeper research into the brand sites themselves, into the retailers before finally uh, they head into the retail store online and make that purchase. So that path of purchase has gotten very complicated, very complex. And that's what opens up this new ability for advertising to reach the consumer at the right time through digital channels. Yeah, and as we just uh, spoke, how this whole tech landscape is rapidly changing, rapidly evolving. How do you balance innovation with your company so that you don't become overly reliant on, you know, like one particular solution or one particular product? It's a great question. Uh, we've we've learned this over the last couple of years is to have make sure that we have always have a strategy of multiple pillars, because if we just land ourselves on one, hmm. uh, the chances are very high that the landscape's going to change so quickly and change from under you. 
that you won't have invested in the right area. So for Critio, for instance, when it came to cookie deprecation or how we would get around that loss of signal, hmm. we created four different ways to do that. And as a result, we've come past this, we've come through on top. So forever in the space, we have to make sure that we're thinking ahead and that we have many different fallback options along the way. Hmm. And what are some of uh, you know uh, the uh, key technological innovations that you have seen uh, over the past couple of years that has had a significant impact on uh, you know your business strategy and your strategy? I think the biggest uh, you know we've been involved in AI for a long time. Yeah. Our, what we call our AI lab is now ten years old. And when you think about what we do, we're we're looking for a particular um, a signal and a particular audience to make sure we get the right ad to. Hmm. So performance, and we don't get paid unless that ad gets clicked on or a product is sold. Hmm. So performance at the, is at the core of everything we do. And so as AI and the use of Gen AI and the ability to get more and more data for us to be able to apply those that logic to, uh, gets more sophisticated it is fantastic for our business and so we're leaning into this further and further and over the last uh, uh 12 months 18 months i would say we have started to actually see revenue produced from ai initiatives which sounds like you know of course <laughs> of course that happens but for so many companies it doesn't happen or it doesn't happen yet they invest in ai for efficiencies but not a lot for an hour for driving growth. But uh, we're doing the latter, which is really exciting. Uh, tell us, moving forward, what is the kind of impact that AI will have on your business? Well, I think on our business, we go from strength to strength. I mean, we use it again as our bread and butter is to make sure that we get the right message to the right person at the right time on the right format, uh, where they need it, where they're going to get close to actually making a decision. And all of that, the use of the data that we have and the ability to use that um, to predict outcomes, to do it so quickly that we can predict outcomes, makes our business even stronger. I think for the industry, it's clear that AI um, you know, can bring about a lot of efficiencies, uh, but it can also really change the landscape in which we're in. If you think about AI's ability to process data or read the internet <laughs> in less than a second, yeah. What it enables us to do is quite profound. Your hunt for a new CEO is uh, on. So have you finally zeroed in on uh, like a candidate uh, to take your uh, place? We are working very hard at that. I am 100%. Uh, I'm still the CEO and I'm 100, 200% focused on, on the job and what I need to do for our people, for our clients, for our shareholders. And I'm going to continue to do that and make sure that we get the right person in at the right time and that they have the skills um, that, uh, that are needed for this company. We have a terrific company and it's a, it'd be a great role for the person coming what, in. What are the specific skill sets that you're looking for, uh, you know, to future-proof uh, Critio for uh, the next couple of years? I think Critio has a really remarkable culture. Uh, it's a culture of, uh, of, of it sounds uh, fuzzy, but it's a culture of caring. It's a culture of very uh, sort of deep principles and, uh, and values. And it's spread across, we're a small company. It's a three and a half thousand person company, but we all sing from the same songbook and we all push each other to do the best work that we can. So culture is a very important part uh, of the next person that comes in and takes over from me. The, the second would be, I think it's important in this environment to have relative skill sets around ad tech or media advertising uh, to just, you know, be able to leapfrog and get into the middle of it very quickly. And then thirdly, um, my job was really to come in and transform the company and completely turn it around, which mm. is what I did. We now have a stock price which is near as close uh, to being when it was at its high before before I arrived. So this transformation has uh, has been quite the journey. The strategy has been set that people know what they need to do. And so uh, proof of execution, I think having a track record of execution of lining people up and letting them do their best work uh, would be the third skill set. Um, that would be uh, that would that we really want to look for in the next uh, CEO. Great, thank you so much. Thanks for joining us today, and thanks for sharing these insights. And all the best.
It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. With that, it's a wrap on Storyboard this week. You can catch all of our content on Facebook, X and YouTube. Thanks for watching. We will be back same time next week. See you soon.